What's up, marker heads? It's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley, and today I'm bringing you the No Black Paint Challenge, and I'm painting Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon, because what's more challenging than doing a No Black Paint Challenge and painting a black character? <laughs> so, this painting was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I experimented with different watercolor techniques, and mixing the colors was really fun. I decided that I wanted my painting to allow the colors that I was mixing to come through. I feel that because he's a black character, well, his skin does reflect a lot of the colors around him, especially the lighting and shading colors, and so I decided to first lay in... Um, well, first I painted his eyes, of course, because I wanted those to be the focal point of the piece, but I first laid in pinks and blues um, for the lighting and shading on Toothless himself. So in the beginning, he kind of looks like a cotton candy Toothless, which is, he's kind of cute, but, um, we, our goal is to build up to a nice, rich, dark color, and if it's not pure black, that's fine with me, because I wasn't going for pure black in the first place. I'm really happy, really happy with the way that this turned out, but originally I was not aiming for doing a picture of Toothless himself. My initial goal was to do Toothless's silhouette with a scene in the silhouette, and you could see, like, maybe, I don't know, Toothless and uh, Hiccup flying, and then his silhouette would be the shape of the picture, or I was going to do a night sky, and the only thing you could see of Toothless besides his silhouette was his eyes, and I really think that that would be a cool picture to revisit, but I wanted to, I don't know, I just, as I was painting, I kept looking at it and just really wanting to paint Toothless himself, so I decided to go for it and just actually paint Toothless. I also felt that the way that I drew his silhouette wasn't filling the page as much as I thought it would, and I felt that there was too much white space, so I just decided to go for it and paint the entire painting, um, the entire paper, because I felt that it was the best choice composition-wise. I am really, really happy with the way that Toothless came out in the end, but when I was working on him right here, I wasn't happy with the scales at all. I was really having trouble um, arranging them, and I knew that once that dried, they would a lot of the darkness would go away. And there comes a point with, because I'm using not very nice watercolors, um, there comes a point to where it just keeps building up this chalky layer, and it's not getting darker, it's just getting more and more chalky, so uh, it wasn't really working out all that great. So I decided to do a new approach to the scales, which you'll see in a minute, and we'll explain why there's a bunch of rocks in the beginning of the video. Uh, I spent a lot of time actually painting in individual scales and shaping my brush in weird ways to make it, like, stamp scales down, but in the end I decided to lay down a layer of very wet pigmented, pigmented paint and put rocks on Toothless himself. So what I did was I pulled up a picture of Toothless and looked at his scale pattern and placed rocks that were roughly the same shape or design and I placed them on him to kind of mimic his scales, and then I let it dry for like four or five hours. It took a really long time for it to dry, and even as I was taking the rocks off, there was still wet paint underneath a lot of them, so I had to be very careful when I removed all of the rocks. So here he is with all of those rocks on him. He's all wet still, so I had to go away. I had to go do yard work and just generally not, not work on the painting. Um, and then when I came back, I pulled all the rocks off, and it made this really cool effect that I'm really happy with, and I just cleaned up all those beads and rocks, and when I was done clearing him off, I enhanced his, uh, color a little bit. I took some, I took some more, uh, dark paint, I mixed some really dark paint, and tried to emphasize some of the scales, I tried to emphasize his form, especially on his neck, I darkened him a little bit there, and made sure that we could tell what's going on with his neck, because 
<laughs> it was kind of confusing there in the beginning. I also am darkening the pupils and some of the areas that would be in the most shadow. And then I moved on, as, I, as that was drying, I moved on to the background itself. And because there's pink on Toothless, I wanted to have some pink in the background as well. And I also wanted to use the same colors I used for his eyes. So that's what I'm doing. And I went outside, and in keeping with the rocks, I went and just picked up a bunch of plants, a bunch of leaves. Because I had been outside in the yard for a while I, as I was working, I was like, oh, I'll just collect a few plants to stamp onto my picture. So that's what I did. I really love using this technique, and it's very satisfying to <laughs> peel them off when, when the stamp is complete, and it's just really fun. So here I am, I'm enhancing a lot of details, I'm shading some of the scales, I'm adding more in, I'm putting some dark sides onto, like some shading on Toothless, and that's about it. Um, really happy with this painting. I hope that you guys like it too. It is up on my Etsy, so if you want to get your own print or um, original, the original is for sale. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. I hope I didn't already, because I don't want to be repetitive <laughs> and try to be like a salesman or something, but this is for sale, so I just want to let you guys know. Here I am flicking some green paint and stamping a few more stamps, and then I'm going to sign it. And that's about it for this painting. I really, really encourage you guys to try the dark, the, um, excuse me. I really encourage you guys to try the no black paint challenge. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the result. Even though he is not straight up black, I am actually quite happy with the way he turned out because I feel that he just looks so nice. So I really would love to see your guys' results, so if you do this challenge too, please Instagram it to me at artbykareneyhaley, and I would love to feature your guys' artwork in upcoming videos, so any art that you do that you'd like me to feature, please Instagram it to me at artbykareneyhaley. If you have not subscribed, please do so already for more illustrations, tutorials, art challenges, and more. I have other channels on YouTube. I have a finger food miniatures channel, so I do miniature food and dollhouse stuff, and I also do vlogs. So please come again. <laughs> I don't know. My endings are always so bad. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.